Good evening and welcome to another edition of Beer Dad's Beer Reviews with me, Dave the Beer Dad. Back again to do another beer review. I am going to continue with the Northern Powerhouse 2019 um, 7 that I'm doing. This one is number 6 and it is a, the Northern Powerhouse, Northern Monk and Cloudwater. In my opinion, probably two of the very best that the UK has to offer in the brewery steaks. Um, this one is a double dry hopped IPA and this one weighs in at a massive 8.2% as it says so right there. Best before this one is the 1st of November 19, it says so there. Again, have a little look at the can art. So Cloudwater out of Manchester, so there has to be a reference to the uh, Manchester B. I am um, Artwork here is done by Kevin Keat, uh, Kevin Keats. That's beautiful, beautiful. The artwork on these on these beers has been fantastic so far. Um, so it's a double dry hopped IPA. Let's read you the the guff on the back. Um, IBU is twenty. Uh, original gravity is one point zero eight seven. Um, hops and or adjuncts are Nelson Savine, uh, Citra BBC, and Simcoe Cryo. Uh, it says tasting notes. Uh, for the double IPA in this series, we brought in our friends at Cloudwater to help us brew this Nelson Savine led offering. Backed up with the classic tropical notes of Citra, uh, NZ New Zealand Nelson, it uh, brings um, tons of gooseberry and the Sauvignon grape character to this smooth, oat rounded beer. Okay, so there we go. That's what it says on the back, right there. To buy this series, you can probably pick this up for anywhere between 35 and 40 quid. Um, once I've done number seven, which will probably be tomorrow or the weekend, then we'll have a little little discussion as to whether it's worth the money or not. So, love Cloudwater, love Northern Monk. Like I said yesterday with the uh, the Buxton beer and the one of the day before, the Wild. You got two, and you got two quality brewers coming together. You know, you know you're gonna get something, or you should get something that's pretty, pretty decent. So let's pop a top on this bad boy. And let's see what we've got. Let's give it my best shot. Put it through its paces. Pour the rest in shortly. So, beer in a glass, what have we got? Well, as you'd expect from Cloud Water and you expect from Northern Monk, juice bomb, that's what it looks like. Pineapple juice, um, fresh orange juice, finger and a half of rapidly dissipating, um, various sized rocky head. Nice little crackle to it. No filters that I can see in there, but we'll give it the old uh, swish and pour shortly to see what we can get. So it looks great, it really does. And it looks on, on comparison with the uh, with the Buxton beer from last night. So let's get a nose, let's see what we can smell. Oranges, a little bit of white wine, tangerines, lemons. Smells lovely. Okay, let's go for it. Medium bodied. I am um, light bulb figures carbonation. It does go pew, and then away and then disappeared. Um, right, let's go for a big taste. Firstly, 8.2, you wouldn't even know about it. You really wouldn't. Dry, bitter finish. It's just lingering around. It's not going anywhere soon. Up front, what you've got to get on the nose, you're getting into the palate. There's oranges and grapefruits and 
tangerines and that type of citrus stuff going on and that kind of leads into this grapiness and that this sort of a uh, champagne gooseberry type thing going on with the old uh, with the old Nelson Sauvignon hops does a uh, does tend the ones I've had with that certainly and again this one give it a little bit of a champagne type aroma and taste oh there we go chunky monkeys look at that there's a lot of a lot of effluent shit in the words in the bottom of this whoa nice nice doesn't bother me to be fair doesn't bother me so let's go for another go It's bloody gorgeous, is what it is. Like I say, this this big, nice lingering bitterness. It kind of overrides everything, flavour wise. But you do get the fruit, and you do get a little bit of the. Uh, you get the fruit, you get the grapes, grapes. You get the gooseberries. You do get this little bit of sort of champagne feel, and then this bitterness that goes. This bitterness just takes over and just just gone. It's. On a big mouthful, there is a little touch of chalkiness on the back of my palate. And that would be my only critique. Critique? Criticism? Criticism. Would be my only, my only issue. But I can look past that quite happily because the beer, the flavours, the body, everything is, is, is brilliant. That's a lot of floaters though, that. That really is. There's a lot in there. They usually get some with the cloud water. So sometimes you get it with the northern monk. That's a lot of... Mm. What are you swimming about? It is what it is, you know. It doesn't put me off. Drinking the beer, as I say, I'm used, I'm, I'm used to finding it in, in, in some of the, certainly the Cloud Wars stuff, like I say. But it is a really good beer. It's it's excellent. Fruity, does exactly what it says on the tin. Alcohol super well hidden. I think the Buxton one yesterday was probably a little bit better. Um, at the, But that was only a 6.5. I've got one left. Which was which is the so I think it's a ten percent I think oh wow I just got a little explosion of balls right in the back of my throat I am um, yes it's very very nice very good indeed I, I but again what do you expect you know like I said at the start of the video you got two of the best brewers in the country together they're gonna do something good Oh, it's like swallowing gravel. Right, so there you go. Um, oh, it's like I'm having a refresher. Um, shave it in the back of my throat. Just <sighs> okay, so double dry hopped IPA. The Northern Powerhouse, number six, double dry, dry hopped IPA. Northern Monk and Car Water, 8.2. Do I like it? Yes, I do. I thought the um, the flavours are right, the body is just right, the alcohol's well hidden. It does exactly what it says on the tin. Fruity. Dry. Excuse me. Excuse me. Uh, yeah. So would I recommend it? Would I buy it if it became a mainstream beer? you bet your bottom dollar on it. Although I'm not sure what you pay for something that's made by Northern Monk and Cloud Water. Probably something in the stupid, ridiculous £8 range, £9 range, maybe even £10. Quid. Um... Would I recommend this to friends? Again, yes. I would like any everybody who knows me to go out and buy this box. Give it a go. Spend the money. Invest the money. At seven beers, it's thirty eight pounds. I think if you throw even if you throw a delivery in, um, get on the book website. You can pretty much get it in a lot of bottle shops as well, though. Um, I think up to now, so far, it's been worth the money. But we get to find out when we do the ten percent. So this goes into the recycle. See you on the next one. Double hands out. Hail the ale.